Hello and welcome to a Yami RPG Editor tutorial. Today we're going to add a scene and then add tiles to that scene. So with that said, let's get started. All right, so in the front window here, we're gonna create a new project. We have a couple templates to choose from. I'll just choose the English one. There will be a blank option, it sounds like eventually. I'm gonna name this tutorial and hit confirm and it will bring us into the editor. So first let's get an understanding of what we're looking at right now. Right now we are in a scene tab. You can see that we also have a directory tab. This will just take us to our assets. But if you click on this scene tab right here, we also have the assets down here. And we can scale these down to make them a little easier to see. Maybe not for the tutorial though, I'll just leave it like this. And so you can see that we can still have access to our assets from here, or we just have the plain old directory. So in order to create a scene, we can just be in our assets right here and we can right click, click create and go to a scene, which is right here. All right, when we click it, we can name it. So I'll just say scene one, and we can just leave it right there. We could have it out here on the base like this, or we can create a folder like the developer did in this template. Matter of fact, if we click in there, we can see that there's three other scenes in here. If we click on one of them, it will open up the scene to our view. And you can see that we still have the old scene tab open as well. All right, so now let's go back to our assets here and let's open our new scene here. And you can see that we just have a blank scene. It doesn't have anything associated with it. So now to specify this scene a little bit more, we can click on this settings icon. And when we highlight it, it brings it over to the inspector, some settings. The first ones are how big do you want the map? And these are all based off tiles. And so this is 20 tiles wide and 20 tiles high. So we could quickly just do 40 by 40. And you can see that it expanded our tile or our scene out even more. Now, if you want to quickly scale around, you can hold the right click on the mouse or you can hold space and left click around. I know that there was mention to make the middle mouse button also be able to scroll. Hopefully that's the case in the future. So let's go to the next options, which is going to be the tile width and the tile height. So we can just set these to 16 by 16. And you can also see that it scaled down our editor because at first it was scaling it based off 32 by 32 and now we're 16 by 16. We also have some other stuff like ambient stuff. You can also run some scripts. These will obviously be other videos. I just wanna get a scene and a tile going. So the next thing to do is to add some tiles. So the first thing we need is a tile map. And so if you right click and click create, you can create a tile map. Now what this is going to do is gonna give you a tile map and it's gonna give you initially with the whole scene. Now, if you didn't set the scene, let's just say that you go back to your settings and you expand this by 45. And then if you click on your tile map again, you'll see that that did not adjust. So you won't be able to place tile maps outside of this range. So what you would do simply is just change this to also 45 by 45. Now, one thing that's really interesting is you won't be able to see a place to assign like an image for tiles. And that is because you can use any image for tiles in this. What this is, it's just setting up a layer of tiles for you. Matter of fact, you can see right here that there's a Roman numeral one. This is that tile layer to paint tiles on. Notice that another icon will pop up here when I create a new tile map. So here is our layer two of our tile maps. And so this is how you can select which layer to draw your tiles on. So now let's actually draw a tile on layer one. So real simply using the default tiles, we can go to scene and they have a folder called tile set. And this is where they put their tiles that they create. So let's click onto this and we can actually get our tiles. We can choose any one and we can start to paint. Now I'm going to scroll in a little bit and move this around. And now we can use some of the hotkeys here. If you press Q, you can simply get a race. If you press E, you can get back to drawing. You can also right click and copy just like you can in uh, maker engines if you're used to those. And then you can also grab a wide range of things to copy. You can press R, this will give you the, the square here, but we have that selected, so let's do that. Like, so yeah, if you press R, if you press T, you can get a circle, which is pretty cool. And then Y will get the fill. Now we can control Z and erase all of this and get that back. And then if we press one and two, we can juggle between these layers. So however many layers, you can actually juggle between them with one, two, with the uh, number buttons up above those. So now let's say that you wanted to add your own tiles. You can simply come down here, create, and you can create a normal tile set. We'll just call this custom tiles. And the first thing that it's gonna ask for is an image. Now you have to put your image in these asset folders. So real quickly, you can just drag this into your asset folder here and you now have it. So we can click none or click on the image option. I mean, and it was in scenes, tile sets, and there it is. 
Now, when you first open it up, you're not going to see much. And that's because you've only gave it a width of one and one. So it's, it's basically one tile long. So this one's pretty big. So I don't have to know exactly how much it is. I can just put a big number like 100 by 100. And then all of a sudden, all my tiles appear. Now it's wrong because of the tile size. And so I'm going to go down here and change it to 16 by 16. And now I am ready to start painting tiles that I want. All right, so the last thing to do is to add collisions. So we're going to click on this right here. This is the collision layer, and we're going to start adding collisions. And I'll just add them like this for now. And we'll just add them just like that. So in order to play test the scene, we have to go to the objects layer, right click and click set start point. This is going to allow us to play test and start right there after the menu. So we'll click new game. And now we can see that we are here. We collide with our tile set here. And yeah, this is how you set up tiles. So hopefully this video was helpful. Like, subscribe if you want to see more Yami RPG Editor content. If you have any questions, comments below, Steam Forms will get you figured out. With that said, I'll see you at the next video.